Hello, I'm Brendan here from Games, Brains and Headbanging Life, GBHBL.com before short. And it's reaction time, checking out the new track from Garia. It's called World Ablaze, a band that consistently amazes. Unbelievable live uh, when we saw them at Bloodstock. And uh, I am going to see them supporting Wolves in the Throne Room on the 31st of May. My wife is there for Wolves in the Throne Room. I'm there for Garia, but you know what I mean? Like, so really excited to see them live again as well. Uh, we have a new song, a new video. Not said if it's from a future album or anything like that, but you probably imagine it is. But it's right now, it's just called World of Plays. And uh, yeah, stoked to check this one out with you. It's simple short, 334. So you know it's probably going to be hot and heavy. Um, yep. Where are you yeah. sitting with Gary these days? Yeah, big fan. I think they're cool. Really, really do. Like I said, Bloodstock was the turning point for me in going from a person who knew a bit about them to being like, yeah, these guys are fucking awesome. So, uh, yeah, I listened to them regularly. Um, I wasn't aware the single had come out. If it's if it's out, yeah, it has come out. Mm. So, but I'd be very surprised if I don't enjoy this. <laughs> I've heard it already. I will admit that this is what I've heard already, uh, and I did really like it. But we'll we'll get into it and watch the video along as well, and we'll see what we think. Let's do this in three, two, one, go. Mm. in the cage. Damn. Do you know what I mean? 
Um, I was just thinking, <laughs> fucking <laughs> guys killed killed me so much doing that. Um, imagine showing someone that video with no music, right? No music at all. Showing someone who doesn't know who they are, really understand what they are, and just say, "Watch this." No music. And what the fuck do you think is going on here? Like, what do you think is going on here? Because I swear, like, what's the one thing he's like the the vocalist said about this video was like. Uh, I need to be moving in every single frame. At no point will I be still. At no point, regardless of what's going on, I will be doing something. Um, the poses, uh, Jesus, it is fucking hilarious, but it's so damn cool because it uh, is so it's, uniquely him. It's yeah, I do. I, I'm, I mean, I'm not because I, I, I always find a way to come up with too many words, but. It, my instant reaction to that is to say that I'm at a loss for words because to me that song is phenomenal like fucking absolutely phenomenal uh I love how they firstly blend that kind of modern metal sound and then bang you're suddenly in what feels like almost quite a traditionally sort of black metal section and then we're out of that and we're into something else. Like, so you're right about the singer, like, never stands still for a, a millisecond. But the song also doesn't either. Like, there's no moments in those songs which are like, I don't know, uh, run of the mill. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, oh, this is what I would have expected to happen next. And and it almost seems to kind of just keep it, like, growing. Because, like, you know, they have, then, then at the end, it sort of seems to come back in even harder. Mm. He is live and on video. Uh mesmerizing to watch like absolutely yeah. mesmerizing you know and i don't know that the next thing i'm going to say is factually correct but i think it is which is that obviously you know my daughter dances and we do dance comps and she has but the ballet tap hip-hop modern all sorts of dances some of the things that he does in those videos i recognize from dances that they choreograph that they do when they're competing like uh in like well, all sorts of different types of dance but mm. often in modern dance which is quite an expressive form i don't know if he is but i look at him and i think i feel like he's a trained dancer well uh, i mean you're right about factually uh, w uh, without knowing the answer that um but i i would imagine that it is to express something because obviously with the masks the 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 coverings you can't express the face so you're doing it no. with your body um we have a little more knowledge on this based on the fact that we did interview yeah. this uh man at bloodstock you can watch that on the channel and we talked about particularly well he kind of described the whole dance aspect that he just by like he remember him saying he just it just wants to. He just wants to do that. So he Finds does. Himself, yeah, like lost in it. But mm. like, I find him wonderfully expressive to watch. Yeah. I, I, I find it is a thing, right? Like, it's not just, it's not just him. I, I, I like visuals that they present in that video. To me, are like thought provoking, very eye catching. You know, like scenes of him in the cage, him in chains, his face in a kind of head cage. Mm. and you kind of get that feeling of you know, what he's expressing is like this you know being cage is being trapped and is trying to free yourself almost those video shots where he's moving and the band members are standing static around him i don't know why but they are so impactful like mm. watching it and i was like because it's that it's that kind of contrast, isn't it, between like that sort of shadowy figure standing completely still and almost, you know, kind of, I don't know, malicious or, or, or threatening. Aggressive. Yeah. And then this kind of flickery movement. It's like, it, like you know, it happening in front of it, whether it's all of a sudden a burst of flames or, you know, the the golden kind of melting scenes, you know, like, like, look like, I don't know, like a mask sort of melting away or something like that. And I, I was mesmerized by the video. I was mesmerized by his vocals because I think he's got really strong vocals. Like, I really do like his vocal tones. Uh, musically, it's fucking great. The drummer got a serious workout in that blast beat section, which yes. was cool as fuck. Uh, it just keeps me like, it keeps me interested from second number one to the end, both visually watching them in a video, but also watching them live. But also importantly, because once you take the singer visually away from it or musically, it's fucking phenomenal too. Yeah. You know, it's not like you need that visual to be able to appreciate them because actually it's, it, they're a 
I, to me, that's one of the best things I've heard this year. You know, I, I, I thought it was amazing. Loved it. Wow, high praise indeed. I mean, I'm just going to highlight two things. Most of what you've already said already uh, vocally, that is simply stunning. Um, I love that kind of harsh vocals where it's being showered at, but not in a sense where it comes across like a shout. It is still being sung. It's still singing. You know, try to explain that to someone who yeah. sees this just as a noisy metal song and say like, no, like, listen, it blows my mind. He really is an incredibly talented vocalist. But man, oh man, the drumming in that track. And even like simply before you get to that pure blast beat point at the end, that is some strong, strong shit. That is the bedrock of that track. That's what's given its real heavy weight because the guitars... Uh, aside from those sort of breaks into those more traditionally black metal aspects are quite melodic a lot of the time it's quite harmony based I guess that gives it a fresher sound as well but it's the fact that it's just bomb here's three and a half minutes of intensity but it's going to have layers regardless of that and even without a video and you can listen to it and pick up on all these things and think god damn this has got more going on than I thought and it's you know like that to me fascinates um yeah what well, this is what they're doing right now man we well it's going to be very very exciting uh for the future oh they they, they are like yeah I, I feel like they're like sort of almost sitting like on this little pedestal outside of a lot of things that i listen to you know there's that crossover band because they are different like genre wise you know I, I, they are i don't know where you put them post atmospheric black metal but there are definite modern kind of metal and not quite core but you know like influences in there as well and mm. it's almost like Garia just have a sound of their own and you know I, I'm proper on board with it man I'm so glad I, I like stopped in to watch them at Bloodstock like because I think you again had said like oh, I want to see this band it's like I'll just go, let's go and check it out and I remember at Bloodstock just standing there like jaw like mouth open like what what am I watching this is amazing but like that that's the next level to me that's that, that's the song you need then that keeps you be interested and now moves me on to when's my next song coming like yeah you said hopefully it's part of an album hopefully there'll be some more music dropping but yeah what a track i'll let you know uh if they play it live in the 31st what it's like live um fingers crossed they do but that is world ablaze by garia you got any thoughts you know what to do let us know in the comments thank you very much for watching if you'd like to see more content like this please consider hitting the subscribe button it is gratefully appreciated you can find us over at gbhbl.com our full website where reviews news and so much more goes up daily we're also on all social media platforms facebook instagram twitter threads at gbhbl just search for gbhbl and you will find us out there we also have merchandise on sale you can access the shop via the website